Our planet may look solid, but if you could crack it like an egg, you'd find it's quite fluid inside. The Earth's solid shell, the lithosphere, is cracked. Broken up into tectonic plates that scoot on top of a more fluid layer, the asthenosphere. Well, scoot is an overstatement. Plate speeds range from around 10 millimeters to a whooping 160 millimeters a year, about as fast as your hair grows. This means Earth's oceans and continents are constantly changing shape. Three times in the last three billion years, all the continents have been mushed together into a single supercontinent. The most recent, Pangaea, broke apart about 250 million years ago. At divergent boundaries, plates are pulling apart. Rock from the asthenosphere rises to the surface and becomes a new lithosphere, mostly in the middle of the oceans, where this forms enormous rifts. At convergent boundaries, plates are running into each other. This may result in subduction, with one plate being forced under the other. In the ocean, this creates deep trenches. As one plate is driven deeper into the earth, it heats up and melts, feeding volcanoes like those of the famous Ring of Fire in the Pacific. When two continents run into each other, mountains are forced up. Constant upwelling of rock at divergent boundaries and sinking of rock at convergent boundaries creates a conveyor belt effect that is the main driving force of plate movement. At transform boundaries, plates aren't running into or pulling apart from each other. They just rub each other the wrong way. As the plates grind together, they generate earthquakes like the San Andreas Fault. There are seven major plates and dozens of smaller plates, all constantly in motion. So don't get too attached to this map. In 250 million years, visitors to some future museum on the supercontinent of Pangaea Ultima may look and laugh at the strange shapes of our fragmented world.